Integrating Ticketer with your site. If you already have a website, you may want to integrate ticketing in your website. It can be done by posting a link, a button, or embedding your ticketing page into your website as an iframe or pop-up. Ticketer supports all common integration methods, and you can integrate Ticketer into any site regardless of the technology or provider. You can use Ticketer with WordPress sites or any other type of sites. All these methods easily work with Ticketer. However, one of the greatest advantages of Ticketer is that it is also a website builder and CMS, content management system. It allows your organization to have one integrated website and system for all their online presence and needs, including a website, even ticketing and marketing, online store and merchandise sales, donation collection, newsletter system, and much more. So you can manage and report everything from a single website and users can use all your services from a single site and using a single account. For example, they can buy tickets and merchandise and make donations all in a single transaction. And they can pay for everything using a gift card that a friend purchased for them from your site. And at the same time, they can join your newsletter or opt in to receive text messages. This level of integration is not possible if you are using different systems for different purposes. Also, you won't have the hassle of handling and working with multiple systems for your website. Ticketing, store online, donation, marketing, CRM, customer relation manager, and newsletters. Using Ticketer as main website or integrating with another website. So before integrating a website with Ticketer, you may also consider using Ticketer as your main website even though it is totally optional, but in many cases, it is your best option and will result in great advantages. The two options you are exploring are, one, have Ticketer as your main website on your main domain and do all your ticket sales, merchandise sales, donation collection, etc. on the main domain. Also have all your informational pages, articles, and blog on Ticketer. Optionally, if you have other functionality that is not supported by Ticketer, integrate your Ticketer site with those functionality. Two, have a website on your main domain that does everything but ticketing and events, and have ticketing and events on a subdomain or on ticketer.com and integrate or embed that into the main website. The website building functionality is included for free in all premium plans and does not cost you anything extra. It is easily manageable by yourself or users who may not be tech savvy. Here are a few questions you may want to answer before making the decision. 1. Do you already have a website or do you like your current website? If no, you should definitely try Ticketer as your official website. 2. What is the main point of your website? If your main point of your website is to promote events, and sell tickets, collect donations, sell merchandise, and give information about your organization, events, and services, then it is best to have Ticketer as your main website. Why would you want to have a website that only acts as a shell and integrate it with another site that does all the important tasks? 3. What is the main revenue of your business, tickets and events, or something else? Your main revenue maker functionality should probably be your main site and on your main domain. Four, is your current website always on or highly available? Or it may go down in the middle of a sale or during high traffic. What happens if your site goes down? Do you have on-call engineers or support team that can help bring it up and running again ASAP? Do you have systems in place to notify you if the site is down? If the answer to these questions is no, you probably want to consider having Ticketer as your main site. 5. Is your site secure on HTTPS? What happens when your SSL certificate expires? Do you have resources to update your SSL certificate if it expires? In no, you cannot sell tickets or merchandise on a website that is not secure. 6. Is your site mobile-friendly and responsive? How does it look and how does it function on a small mobile or a big monitor? If your site is not mobile friendly, then any site that you embed in that will not be mobile friendly either. 7. Does your site have proper SEO and search engine optimization? Do you use the proper HTML tags, metadata, and structured data for your events? Are your URLs and links SEO friendly? 
Do you use Sitemap and Robots.txt to instruct search engines how to navigate your site? 8. How easy is it to update the content of the site? Add a page. Upload pictures. Do you do it by yourself or do you have to hire a webmaster to do it for you? Does it cost you? What is the wait time? 9. How much does your site cost? Hosting, SSL certificate, maintenance, webmaster, etc. 10. Do you back up the site properly and frequently? How often? Do you know how to restore a backup if you need to and how long does that take? 11. Do you have sign up functionality on the site? How does the sign up work with the rest of your site functionality like ticket purchase or making donation? Does the user have to have multiple accounts or signed up multiple times? 12. Do you have a newsletter functionality? If so, do you have options that allow the user to join, opt out, or update their information? Is it all automated or do you have to manually take care of the request? 13. Do you use cookies? Do you have a cookie manager system to ask permission for cookies? Here are some advantages you get by using Ticketer as your main website. Event ticketing is a sensitive and time-sensitive problem, and we at Ticketer understand that. We understand the effect of downtimes in the middle of the sales, at the box office, or during scanning and admission. We understand that your website must be always available and your data should be protected and backed up. Most other website builders and hosting companies are not built with the time sensitivity in mind and are not built to be highly available. Often they may go down for scheduled or emergency maintenance and may get down for hours and so are not suitable for ticketing. We have considered high availability in every step of our process and building the site and we have 24-7 on-call engineers who monitor the site and receive alerts if something does not work properly. Ticketer's revenue structures is based on the amount of your sale. In other words, we don't make money unless you make sales and money. As a result, it is our highest priority to provide you with greatest SEO, search engine optimization, marketing, and advertising tools to make sure you can sell out every event. We implement the best, most complex, and most recent SEO techniques to make sure your site is indexed and highly rated by Google. Also, we make sure your site is easily usable on every device and mobile, and we try to provide the best and easiest user experience. All the cost of owning a website, including the hosting fee, SSL certificate, maintenance, backup, etc., is covered, and you don't have to worry about the hassle or cost. Also, the website building functionality, including designing the site, creating content pages and landing pages, etc., are very easy and can be done by yourself. The following articles and videos show you how to design your site and how to create and manage content for your site. Moreover, by using Ticketer as your main website, you will have a seamless, fully integrated process, one sign-up system and one account that is used for buying tickets, merchandise, making donations, newsletter, season passes, coupons, and everything else with full control to the buyer to manage their private information, mailing list preference, and cookies with the ability to delete their personal information for compliance with law, all in a self-service manner. Also, a single reporting system for your managers and accounting team. Another SEO benefit is that Google loves events and ticketing information. If proper structural data, which is hidden to the users, are available on your site and domain, Google considers the site as high priority and time sensitive, and so they index your content more frequently to make sure they have updated events information, ticket prices, and ticket availability. It is a huge advantage to have such information on your main domain, and not a subdomain or third-party domain. If your site acts as a shell and does nothing more than providing information about your organization and events and links, or embeds another site that does everything including selling and managing tickets, merchandise, gift cards, donations, newsletters, user account management, and more, then what is the point of the main site and why wouldn't you want to keep it? Replacing an existing website with Ticketer. If you decide to use Ticketer as your main site, you have two options for migrating. One option is that you can build your new website using Ticketer, build pages, content, events, and when you are ready at one point, 
Switch your domain to point to your ticketer base site and replace the old site. The second option is a gradual transition. You can build your ticketer site and events either on ticketer.com or a subdomain and integrate it with your main website as explained below and gradually migrate your pages and contents to Ticketer, and finally replace and retire the old site. Integrating Ticketer with your existing site. When it comes to integrating ticketing into your site, there are different options. A button or link that is posted on the main site and takes the buyer to the ticketing page, embedding ticketing as an in-frame or pop-up, full link exchange. You can use a combination of all the above to get the best result. Site pages and structure. First, let's learn about your ticketer's site pages. Your ticketer site has a page for upcoming events that lists all your upcoming events. This page is available in different format and variations such as gallery view, list view, calendar view, and map view. For example, https colon forward slash forward slash www.ticketer.com forward slash demo is the link to our demo site's upcoming events page and https colon forward slash forward slash www.ticketer.com forward slash demo forward slash calendar and https colon forward slash forward slash www.ticketer.com forward slash demo forward slash map is the calendar view and map view version of the same page. Each event has a dedicated ticketing page and URL that is specific for that event. For example, https colon forward slash forward slash www.ticketer.com forward slash demo forward slash tickets forward slash a dash kids dash show dash one three two three is the URL to the kids show on our demo site. If you use the short friendly URL, it will be ticketer.com forward slash demo forward slash kids show. Adding hashtag to the URL will scroll the user to the main ticketing area, for example, https colon forward slash forward slash www.ticketer.com forward slash demo forward slash tickets forward slash a dash kids dash show dash one three two three Hashtag buy takes you to the kids show ticketing page and scrolls you right to the pricing and seating chart section. Recurring events also have a dedicated calendar view page that shows all recurrences of the event. Similarly, you may have one or more store pages for selling merchandises. For example, one store page for gift cards, another store page for food and concession and another store page for other merchandise and CDs. HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash www.ticketer.com forward slash demo forward slash store is the URL to our demo site store page. Each merchandise is also a dedicated page. HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash www.ticketer.com forward slash demo forward slash shop forward slash 100-00-gift card-10544 is the URL to the $100 gift card on our demo site. You can also have one or multiple donation pages for different causes. https colon forward slash forward slash www.ticketer.com forward slash demo forward slash donation is the URL to the donation page on our demo site. Since each item or functionality has a dedicated page, you can easily link to that page or embed that page. Note, if you move the site to your own domain, such as mybusiness.com, all the www.ticketer.com forward slash demo in the sample URLs above will be replaced by mybusiness.com. For example, www.mybusiness.com forward slash kids show or in case of subdomain, tickets.mybusiness.com forward slash kids show or boxoffice.mybusiness.com forward slash kids show. Getting the embed code or URLs. To get the embed code or URL or code for a pop-up of any of your ticketer's site pages, simply go to the page that you want to embed. Go to the control panel, account and settings, embed, add to the site. 
A pop-up opens up that allows you to get the code you need. You can select the page you want to embed as well as the method of embed and options. You can also see a live preview of how the selected options will work. One, in the pop-up, you will get to choose what page you want to add to your site. There is one entry for common pages or your upcoming events, or you can choose current page, which means the page that you are currently on. Note, for public use, make sure to use a page that is available to public, such as ticket purchase page and is not behind login. However, Ticketer also allows you to embed administrative pages that require login, such as event creation page or report pages. If you embed an administrative page, the user will need to log in with proper credentials to access the page. 1. Select the method of embed. You can choose to get the link URL to the page, or an iframe pop-up or WordPress shortcode. If you select a method that loads the content on your site in the form of iframe or pop-up, you should make sure that your site has good quality as the quality of the outcome is significantly affected by the quality of the page it is embedded in. Your page should be secure and only open on HTTPS. HTTP traffic should get redirected to HTTPS. It should be mobile friendly and it should be highly available. Pop-ups usually work better than iframe as they are less affected by other controls on the page. If you use an iframe, make sure that you embed it into an element that can grow in height indefinitely as the iframe will grow when needed and you don't want to end up with inaccessible content or double scroll bars. Also try to embed in a full width element so the iframe will have enough room, especially on mobile devices. Using a linker button that points to your ticketer site is always the safest and easiest option. 2. In the options area, depending on the selected method, you will see options for your embed code. If you have selected the option to embed in your site as an iframe or pop-up, you will have the option to allow the links and consecutive pages to open in the same area or in the parent page or a new tab. We recommend opening in the parent window to provide a richer experience and to make sure the potential issue with your site does not affect the purchase process. 3. Finally, you can copy the code and use it in your site. In case of a URL, you can also generate and download a QR code that opens the URL. iframes are not sufficient. While most systems only offer iframe as an integration method, iframes are not sufficient. Using iframes as the only method of integration will hide and cover most of the important site functionality. Remember that ticketing is not just about selling tickets. A user should be able to log back into print and manage their tickets, exchange or return them if allowed by your policy, print their invoice or receipts, use their store credit, gift card, or season pass check their gift card balances, or check the status of their orders. Also, as required legally in many areas, they should also be able to view and edit their personal information, name, email, phone number, and be able to opt in or out of receiving newsletters and communications or set their cookie preference. So while iframe or pop-up on your site is a very good starting point, you should have a method to allow buyers to access other functionalities. Link exchange method recommended. The point of link exchange is to provide a method for the buyers to access your box office site and be able to get back to your main site seamlessly and without noticing that they are on different sites or use different technology. This is the best, easiest, and safest integration method and makes sure that your ticketing functionality will work regardless of the quality of your site and even if your site is completely down. You can see an example of link exchange method in most big websites such as banks. If you go to a bank website, you will notice that different functionalities of the site might be on different subdomains, on different servers, and managed by different teams. For example, the main site may be on bank.com, while the credit cards are offered on creditcards.bank.com, and investments accounts are offered on investments.bank.com. The feel and look of all these subsites are the same, and when switching from one to other, you won't notice any change in the feel and look and branding.
All these subsystems are on the same domain, potentially different subdomains. The top menu or navigation system has same or similar items regardless of what subsystem you are on. And there is always a button on the menu that takes you to the home page or the main site. Achieving the same functionality with Ticketer is very easy. One, design your Ticketer site. Design your Ticketer site to have the same feel and look as your main site. Use the same logo, theme, background color or picture, header color, and top navigation style. You can do that using the control panel account and settings design, and it can be done in just a few minutes. You can read our article and video on how to design your Ticketer site for more information. Two, optionally move your Ticketer site to a subdomain. Now move your Ticketer site to a subdomain of your domain such as tickets.mybusiness.com so when users go to your Ticketer site, they will still remain on your domain. This step is optional but gives you a fully branded experience. You can read our article and video on how to move the site to your domain and subdomain for more information. 3. Create a consistent navigation for both sites. Next, you need to create a navigation system that is similar on your both sites and allow the users to move back and forth between the two sites. You can start by adding an item named Tickets or Box Office to your main site's navigation that points to your upcoming events page on Ticketer. You can pick and choose any page or functionality from Ticketer and add it to your main nav or sub nav on your main side. For example, you may want to also add the calendar page, donation page, store page, or any other page that you would like to use from Ticketer. Then on your Ticketer site, you want to do the same thing and add items to your nav that point to your main site. To do so, use the control panel, account and settings, pages and navigation. Add a page either to the main nav or a sub nav of type linked to another page. For example, you may want to add a home button to your nav that points to www.mybusiness.com forward slash home. Add a page of type link to external page, set the menu text to home, and the URL to www.mybusiness.com forward slash home, and save. Then you can use drag and drop to arrange and reorder the items in your top navigation. You can read our article and video on how to add pages and content to your site for more information. Pick and choose and gradual migration. This method allows you to pick and choose functionality from Ticketer or your existing site. For example, you can choose ticketing functionality from Ticketer and store or donation functionality from your current provider. If you prefer to migrate your store and donation functionality to Ticketer to have a consistent user experience and fully integrated ticket purchase and donation and merchandise, you can gradually move those functionalities to Ticketer as you get a chance.